I have the great pleasure now of being joined by Dr. Richard Baum, who is giving the Henry Wagner Lecture on Theranostics. And this concept is so incredible, this idea of being able to diagnose and treat as well. Give us an overview. Yes, before I start, I would like to say that this year is the 20th anniversary, actually, of uh, peptide receptor radionuclide therapy, or PRT. Uh, which started in our center and in Europe uh, in the 90s. So 97, we actually treated the first patient in Germany. And uh, after all this time, uh, finally in 2017, in January, so this January, uh, there was a multi-center trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine, which um, summarized the results of a uh, uh, international trial at uh, more than 50 sites and uh, showing that you know neuroendocrine tumors metastatic neuroendocrine tumors can be very effectively treated with PRT using lutetium 177 dodatate which is a uh, agent targeting somatostatin receptors so in the neuroendocrine tumor area this is uh, now coming you know into practice to be used also in the United States, not only in Europe. So until now we have treated many patients uh, from the United States because the therapy was not available here. But I think this year the treatment will become also available uh, in the US. And the second very important field uh, where we are dealing with is the treatment of metastatic hormone refractory prostate cancer. So using PSMA as a molecule, again, labeled with lutetium-177 or in some centers also with alpha emitters like you know uh, bismuth 213 um, we can effectively uh, treat prostate cancer which is resistant to all other kinds of treatment tremendous news <clears throat> for people in the united states who as you mentioned had to travel before can you give us some advice of that concept of going from research into clinical practice and then being able to bring that to patients yeah actually in Germany we have very uh, good conditions you know very good uh, regulations for that which are not actually established here in the United States so uh, we can use in the hospital uh, new drugs uh, which are not approved uh, but which can help the patient uh, in a disease stage where all other treatment failed okay we call it uh, so-called Heilversuch and it's a law so you are allowed in a hospital to use new uh, treatments you know in patients of course you have to fulfill a certain you know number uh, of regulations and so on but uh, this is a very very efficient way to bring you know new traces uh, new treatments directly to the patient and uh, i was fortunate enough to collaborate with many researchers around the world uh, over the last 25 years and uh, there are so many gifted researchers developing new strategies for treatment especially with seranostics okay because we can look uh, with a diagnostic compound first if our target is there in the patient and then treat the patient with a, a specific uh, drug which is targeting this uh, receptor or antigen. So you can predict actually that the patient will respond to the treatment, which is uh, something really extraordinary. That must be so rewarding for you after all these years yeah. of research. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And I still remember the first patient uh, we treated uh, in 1997, which was actually a young boy uh, with a paraganglioma and he had failed chemotherapy, MIBG therapy. So the oncologist was giving him a prognosis of just uh, a few months. And we treated him with Itrim-90 Dodatoc. Uh, as I said, it was the first patient ever treated in Germany. And he responded so well uh, that he lived for more than six years after that. And he didn't die even of cancer. Uh, he died of an aspiration pneumonia, which was caused you know, by a paralysis of the uh, nerves uh, after a dental uh, extraction. <laughs> well, let's yeah. hope the future brings more cases yes. like that and more yeah. lives saved. Yeah. Dr. Baum, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for your interest.